Hey guys, welcome to Yen Eye Beauty. My name is Tanya and I love to be your personal little guinea pig. And today I want to talk to you about the Ordinary Serums and particularly the Buffet Serum and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I want to tell you how they affected me and what they did for my skin, how much they are, and just overall what I think of both of these products and the Ordinary Company itself. So you're interested in seeing what I have to say? Stay tuned. Alright, welcome back guys. And the first thing I want to state is this is not a sponsored video. This is just, I brought the products myself, I've trialled them myself, I'm doing the video because I want to do the video. And um, I'm hoping that it'll actually help you guys out a little bit because um, the Ordinary Serums I personally think are fantastic. But um, some of them are a little bit more expensive than others and so let's get started on talking about it. Now, on my quest to try and find a way to make my really, really dry, sensitive, eczema prone, dehydrated skin better because I was doing nothing at all. We're going back like two years ago, I wasn't doing anything at all for my skin. Maybe just slapping on like moisturizer once a week. That's how bad I got. Like I wasn't doing anything good for my skin. I wasn't taking the time out and I was just focused on doing what I needed to do. You know, get up, kids, etc, etc. Day to day life and not really looking after myself. Well anyway, I started off a little bit of a quest to try and look after myself and try and find the perfect skincare routine for myself. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't realise how extensive some people went into it. I didn't know that they, you know, they exfoliated, they toned, they moisturised, they serumed, um, oiled. <sighs> there is masked, you know, so many other different essence. I didn't know all of these things. I just thought, oh yeah, you know, get out of the shower slap some moisturizer on, she's good. I've been living under a rock. Anyway, moving on. So, I tried a ton of moisturizers. I think I tried 10 moisturizers over a 20 week period and I finally found the one that I loved. Um, but as good as it was, and it was good, um, I just felt like that I could do better. I mean, I I was still breaking out in eczema, but my skin was nice and soft, so that was a bonus. Oh, I didn't have as much flaking, but I noticed that my eczema was still there. And I know what you're going to say, you should have gone for an eczema, you know, cream, target, something. You're right, but it doesn't always work. Um, and the thing is, is I've tried tons of different eczema treatments, and they're okay, but they weren't, they weren't perfect. And anyway, I thought, well... Let's try a serum. So I thought, well, the only people that I really, the only company that I really hear about is The Ordinary. So I thought, whatever. I nicked down the price line and I picked up this one, the Buffet Serum, and I started using it. And I, the first four days, I'm like, yeah, okay, this is a crock. This is just, you know, whatever, an extra step, an unnecessary step. And um, so I thought, anyway, look, I'll just keep on going. I'll keep going. And about day six, I started to notice something a little bit different with my skin. It felt um, it felt like it constantly had moisture in it. And I'm like, oh, hang on here, what's going on? So I haven't changed anything in my diet or anything. So the only thing that I'd added to my uh, moisturization, uh, other than my moisturizer, sorry, was this bad boy. And I'm like, okay. So I kept on using it two weeks later. And wow, like <laughs> if I missed a day or two, um, she was fine. My makeup started applying different. I wasn't getting dry patches. I could use almost almost any uh, foundation that I wanted and I wasn't getting crusty or dry patches or anything like that, um, settling into weird lines or anything. You know, I mean, there is the exception. I can't use um, matte style um, foundations, but there were some that I did try that looked reasonable, you know, not perfect, but reasonable in comparison to had I put it on before without using this um, for a long period of time, I would have looked like a crusty, dusty mummy. So <laughs> it was doing something. And um, so suffice to say that I fell in love with the Buffet Serum, but although she's cheap enough, I'm a little bit of a tight ass and, you know, I run a family of seven, so I really can't afford to be splashing out. And I know this is going to sound bad when I say splashing out when I tell you the price because it's really not that bad. But anyway, I paid $24.99 for this little bottle here and it lasted me uh, probably two months, I want to say. Um, I was only using it once a day though. And um, yeah, look, I guess that's a good price considering that you can pay 40 50 60 70 80 dollars you know and and more for some serum so it's a pretty darn good price considering what it did and i didn't really have anything else to compare it to um to see whether anything cheaper would do anything good so i thought you know what whatever 
I was also interested in trying the um, Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum because I also heard really good things about that but I thought you know what to be able to give it a fair go I needed to let my skin go for a week so I I stopped moisturizing with this and my normal moisturizer and I let my skin go back and we're at about day four my skin started feeling dry, dehydrated, a little bit crunchy. I had some spots there, so I thought, oh no, okay. <sighs> I waited seven days before I started using the um, hyaluronic acid, which is this one here. And I thought, I, got, I just got to start it, I got to start it. And I thought, I'll see how she goes after a week. And about after a week's time, I was seeing some difference, but nothing as good as the um, Buffet Serum. Um, I got a few pros and cons with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Now, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's good, but I don't think it's good enough for me. Um, now, the price factor is fantastic. I think I paid $12 for this. It could have been between $12 and $15 for the Hyaluronic Acid opposed to $24.99 for the Buffet. But I got more out of the Buffet. Not only do I find the Buffet Serum um, does more for my skin but it's also more user friendly now I find with the buffet serum that I can squeeze it's got a little dropper here hang on I don't really have much of it um, I can squeeze her up and it's kind of like milky almost sort of texture but it stays in the dropper right so I can drop it on my skin and it's not a fast flowing serum so although it may move a little bit it's not going to pour off your face before you can put the lid back on and rub it in however the hyaluronic acid a little bit different so she's more of a clearer uh, a clearer serum and it, it doesn't like to stay in the dropper so we're going to drop here now it doesn't like to stay in the dropper and then when you finally do disperse it onto your face You've got to be really quick, otherwise she's going to she's gonna pour off your face. Um, I ended up starting to put it in my hand and then dabbing it around my face because I didn't like to have to go squirt, squirt, and, you know, it, it, was, a, it was a bit of a cluster f <laughs> Excuse me, it, it was a bit chaotic, so, yeah, I didn't like that. So, um, for the price factor, I think that if you have normal skin, I'd personally say that the hyaluronic acid one may work for you, but um, really well, like, better than it did for me. But for someone who's got dry, dehydrated, you know, eczema-prone skin, that buffet serum, I don't know what's in it, I'm not a chemist, right? And I don't really know half of what these um, ingredients actually do do for your skin, which I will eventually research, but I can tell you what it does for me, and it makes me... It, it makes me feel great, like personally I actually feel better about myself. I feel like that it brightens up my skin a little bit, um, the texture on my face completely goes. We're talking about two weeks in, right, with then the Buffet Serum. Two weeks, my skin is like perfect, perfect, perfect base for my makeup. And just not even that, I just feel better about myself, like when my skin is in bad condition, I don't want to leave the house, really don't. Um, kind of like wearing this hat, you know, when my hair is not washed, so but it's kind of cute, right? Anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, I just don't think that the Buffet and the Hyaluronic Acid can be compared too well. The Buffet is like uh, fine dining, and um, although the Hyaluronic Acid is not like takeout, it's, um, it's not bad, it's just not for me. So um, I think that if you have normal skin, I'd try the Hyalur Hyaluronic Acid one first. I think that you could get something out of it, but... Um, I've heard a little rumour, and I don't know if it's actually true or not, so look, don't quote me, but I've heard that the hyaluronic acid, the whole point of it is um, uh, not necessarily to add moisture to your skin, but to draw moisture in. And if you live in a climate that doesn't um, have a lot of moisture, like a really, really dry climate, I've heard that it can actually draw the moisture out of your skin. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. So there's something I'm going to have to look into it. But what I will say is the Buffet Serum um, actually claims that it has hyaluronic acid in it. So I think that um, I think the winner for me personally is the Buffet Serum with its cocktail of whatever. So I'll see if I can actually find it. All right, let me see. It just says Buffet Multi Technology Peptide Serum. You know, maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the ingredients up here and you can guys can have a look at it yourself and make up your mind. But personally for me, I'm loving the Buffet Serum. Okay, so I have to spend $24, $25 opposed to $12 to $15. But um, I think that overall it's definitely worth it and there are more expensive serums out there. But I think that if you're looking for a nice serum that's going to do a little bit of everything and, um, you know, really make your face feel great, look great... 
I think give the buffet serum a good go. Don't just use it for a day or two. Like skincare takes like a month, you know. Even though I saw results after two weeks, you gotta give it a go. Like at least give it two weeks, guys. I saw results from six days onwards. Um, yeah, so anyway. Look, I hope that was informative enough for you guys. Um, Got to give it to The Ordinary Company for making such fantastic products. I think that the Hyaluronic Acid Serum is going to work for somebody. Um, but, yeah, I just, I much prefer the buffet. So anyway, if you liked what you saw, please, guys, go ahead, give me a thumbs up so I know that you want to see more content like this. And um, if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more uh, episodes like this or a little bit makeup, you know, let me know down below what you guys are interested in so I can actually post it for you. Anyway guys, look, that's pretty much it for today. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. But uh, like I say every time, don't forget to click that uh, bell icon so you'll be alerted any time that I upload. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in my next vid. Bye. Thanks for stopping by, guys. If you guys want to see some more, go ahead and uh, check out my playlists. There's a lot there to choose from, and I'm doing my best to fill it up with even more content that you guys want to see. Feel free to check out all my other social medias and uh, drop me a line on what you'd like to see more of, because I would love to know what you guys are interested in.